Good morning, world. Uh, it is like March 29th, uh, Tuesday, and I'm right now in the middle of the forest, um, and I've decided to go a little bit further off the beaten path today, but it was because I had a spirit of adventure, and I was, I was uh, kind of searching for something, something different, something new, um, and I have a feeling that someone watching this right now knows exactly what I'm talking about, you know, where you feel like you're in the middle of a wooded forest. You don't see a path, and something's pulling you to search for something new. Um, along that search, I saw this, this nice clearing, you know. And what struck me is that, you know, how far can you go into darkness? How far can you go into a deep forest? Well, hey, God says you can only go halfway. Because the other half, you're on your way out. So let's go on out. Let's get out of this darkness. Let's get out of the forest. Let's forge through a new path. Let's take the road less taken, you know? Robert Frost. Two, two paths diverged in the wood. And I took the one last travel by. And that has made all the difference. And now we're out into the light where healing can begin. This is where the healing begins. Once you finally recognize it and you put it out into the light, putting light on darkness dispels it. God is the light and he wants to shine on any and all darkness. Um, but the first step is to, to realize that you're in the darkness. So that's the diagnosis. And then the second step is to seek the light. Come check it out with the doctor. The doctor has what you need. The doctor has the cure. Even Eminem recognizes that. He thinks his cure is Dre, I guess, though. He needs the doctor, huh? I was driving home yesterday. I was driving uh, from work. And as soon as I started up my engine, it sounded like Chewbacca was attacking Ewoks and running over Jar Jar Binks. I know that's a little bit too much Star Wars reference for some of y'all. But it sounded like... Literally, hell was, was breaking out inside of my car. So, um, I recognized, honestly, my wife was uh, more compelling me to do this. Sometimes wisdom in the Bible is referred to as a woman, and I believe that. Because she wisely said, hey, you need to go see somebody to fix that car. And my dumb butt was like, well, I'll take it to the oil lube and see what they say. What is that? Oil lube is not going to really address the issue that's like Eminem thinking Dr. Dre is the real doctor that he needs that's like you breaking your leg and putting tape on it so I need to go and get my car checked out with a real mechanic and um, that's kind of uh, the metaphor that I see for most of our lives that we know there's some things that are wrong our engine's sounding funny. We're amidst some darkness, and we keep trying to put tape on it. We want to take it to the quick fix oil lube. But the problem with that is it never really addresses the core issues that you need more than an oil change. You need a, an engine change. You need a, 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 a brand new chassis. You need to get your old spare parts replaced for new parts. And that's what uh that's what's on my mind today is uh really going to see that doctor to get made new. Um the first step is uh taking that hand, the one that's clenched because you're worried about your struggle, the one that's clenched because you're focused on your problem, the one that's clenched because uh, you just don't know what to do, and go see the doctor and let him open it up. It might hurt a little bit, but just let him open it up. And that's where some of you guys are at right now, where you're starting to let him open up, but you're feeling the pain of the things that were in your hand being removed. But when you take your car to a dealer and they, they go to fix it and, and replace parts, 
they're going to have to take out the old stuff first. The car is not complaining. There's the realization that something better, something newer, is going to go in there. So when he's taking things out of the hand, realize that that's to make room for the new. Reading on Psalm 139, at the, uh, I don't recall what verse right now, but towards the end of the psalm, uh, the psalmist David tells us that he wants God to search him and to test his anxious thoughts to find anything within him that is offensive. He's looking for a doctor. Even David, the one who conquered Goliath, the one who was anointed at the age 16 to become king, even him, he knew he needed a doctor. And he's asking the doctor to diagnose him, to check him out thoroughly and to see what's wrong. And he wants him to make him on the righteous path to lead him in the ways everlasting so uh, I want you guys right now to realize that we all whether we are one with Christ or whether we aren't we need him we need a doctor and some of you who have come to a relationship with Christ well actually all of you understand that and maybe you might have forgotten that he's the one that is making you healthy. He's the one that's making you well. And I'm going to right now uh, pray for you all. And I'm also going to pray for those who don't yet know Christ. And um, I want you all to uh, pray with me. And uh, open up your heart to him. Ask him to search you, Lord. Father God, uh, I come to you on behalf of all those people that are watching this, that are listening, that have decided today to open up their minds and their hearts to you, Lord. And I ask that as they cry out for you to search them and to repair them and to heal them, that you do as your word tells us and you are faithful and just and that all those that ask will receive, all those that seek will find, all those that knock, the door will be open, Lord. I ask you to break down those doors today. Open them up and open up their hearts and enter these people, Lord. As they give their lives to you, Jesus, um, just replace all that is old and broken down with brand new, shiny uh, hearts and, and minds and uh, uh, heal their, their broken spirits right now, Lord Jesus. Um, those that, that you've already come to know, Lord, strengthen their will, Lord. Uh, continue to, to push out the, the ugly and to wash away the, the despairing worries that they have in their hearts, Lord, and to continue to cleanse them with your righteousness. Continue to be their righteousness and continue to remind them that they have no righteousness apart from you. I ask all these things in your name, Lord Jesus, and I thank you for doing it, and I thank you for the power that you've given each and every one of us in this moment to go forward and accomplish your will. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, y'all. Be blessed. Be a blessing. And when you see that diverging path, when you've got choices and ways to go, take the road less traveled by. It will make all the difference.